In this video, let us see about the components used in distribution board in houses. There are two types of electric power, namely the direct current which is specified by its magnitude because frequency is zero in DC and the best example for DC is battery. Then we have AC current which is called alternating current which is specified by its magnitude, phase and frequency. So normally what we get in our home is AC supply. Let us see the types of alternating current. We have single phase AC and three phase AC for domestic applications. So single phase AC we know it is 230 volt 50 hertz it may differ in other countries and in three phase we have 415 volts and 50 hertz so this is three phase uh, the electrical installation code differs from one country to another majority of the countries follow the International Electrotechnical Commission standards while America follows the National Electrical Code. So some of the countries will derive some standards from here and they have developed their own set of regulations. We all get the power supply from the utility pole through this connection point which will come to the main switchboard. So this is the main part from which power is distributed to different rooms or different loads in a house. So in this video we are going to see about this main switchboard what are the components available and how it is connected and why it is connected. Earlier we were using this fuse type of uh, distribution board. Nowadays we are using MCB based boards. So this is available as a ready made kit itself. So it is easy to install and operate. First we will see about fuse. The fuse we know it is an electrical safety device which is used to provide the overcurrent protection. So whenever there is a excess current or overcurrent the fuse will melt and it will interrupt the circuit. So this type of fuses you might find in some of the equipments. So this is also fuse. So the advantage is that they are very cheap. But drawback is that every time you have to replace the fuse wire. Here one fuse wire will be there. So when it melts, you have to replace another wire to uh, connect the circuit. Next we have the miniature circuit breaker or MCB. So this has uh, replaced the fuse to a large extent. There are two portions in a circuit breaker. One is the on position. You can see here this is on position and this is the off position. So whenever there is a fault, this uh, circuit breaker will trip automatically and will come down. So by seeing this we know this particular part of the circuit has some fault and the tripper has tripped. So the MCBs are used to protect against the overload and short circuit. So whenever there is a short circuit it will just trip. After uh, you clear all the fault you can uh, manually make it on. So they are easy to install because this is available as a ready made kit. So you can easily install, operate it and easy to maintain also. There are different types of circuit breaker which are classified into class A, B, C, D, K and Z. So you can see here for each type the uh, rated current or uh, amount of current required to trip varies. So class A will trip at 2 to 3 times the rated current. Class B means 3 to 5 times the rated current it will trip. So each type has a different 
tripping characteristic. Out of all these types, the class B, C and D are widely used. So, this is the tripping characteristics for B, C and D. So, you can see here for B, this uh, x axis give the rated current and uh, this is in time which is in given in seconds. So, when it is uh, between 3 to 5 times the rated current, this B type uh, MCB will trip. So, depending upon your requirement, you can choose the different type of uh, circuit breaker. So, here we can see that it is written here B. So, this belongs to type B circuit breaker. And uh, as, I, as we have already seen, when the current is between 3 to 5 times the maximum current, uh, it will trip. So, this type of uh, MCB is used for protection against small overloads and sudden changes in current. So, this uh, type B is mostly preferred for residential purpose and small commercial places. It is uh, suitable for where we have lot of lighting loads or resistive loads where the inrush current is very small. So, in such cases we can use type B MCB. Next we have type C MCB. You can see it is written C 16. So, here the current uh, or the breaker trips at current between 3 to 5 times the rated current. It is normally preferred for a small commercial and industrial units. Mostly this type is preferred where you have more number of inductive loads like transformers or air conditioner, fluorescent lamps. So, sometimes you can use it at home also. They offer higher protection compared to the type B MCBs. Next we have type D breaker. You can see here it is written D. So, this type of uh, breaker is the least sensitive one because it will trip only when the current is between 10 to 20 times the rated current. So, this type of breaker is uh, usually preferred in heavy machines like um, X-ray machine, UPS and motor where the in uh, rush current is more. If I use a type B breaker here, what will happen? It will lead to nuisance current tripping. So, to avoid nuisance tripping, we have to go for type D MCB in these type of machines. Next, we will see about the number of poles on MCB. So, here you can see, here only one pole is there. It is called single pole MCB. Here two poles are there or two terminals are there, here three are there, so it is called tripole and four poles are here, it is four pole. So, you can see the circuit also, here two lines will be there, here three lines and here four lines are there. So, what is this uh, number of poles on the MCB? It refers to the number of conductors that uh, MCB can interrupt in case of any fault. So, if it is a single one, only one live wire can be interrupted. Whereas, in this one, one live wire as well as one neutral wire can be interrupted or two phases can be interrupted. So, based on that, it is classified into single pole, double pole, tripole and four pole. So, normally this uh, SP DP, TP, uh, this uh, terminology will be used to specify the number of poles. There is one more MCB called SPN MCB where SPN stands for single pole with neutral. So, this is this also has double pole and this DP also has double pole. So, we have already seen DP is used to connect two phases or one live wire and one neutral wire. 
So here SPN is also used to connect one live wire and one neutral wire. The major difference is that here neutral is not protected. So this neutral line is not protected here whereas in DP whatever you connect in both the terminals it will be protected. So here neutral will be just an isolating pole or you can say that the current through the neutral is not protected in case of SPN whereas in DP it is able to protect the current in the neutral also. Next we have triple pole uh, neutral or uh, tripole uh, ne with a neutral. So it is denoted by the letters TPN and you can see here three phases have protection from this graphical symbol you can see three lines have protection whereas the fourth line is direct straight line which indicates that it is not protected. So the neutral line which is the uh, denoted by this red color is not uh, protected. So the protection applies only to the current uh, that flows through the three poles. So this is normally used for three phase for four wire system. Next we have the MCB current rating. So they are designed to meet the needs of low power application. So the current requirement will be normally uh, below 125 amps. So here is a data sheet which shows the uh, different um, currents, uh, current rating of the MCB. See here. 1 amps is available 2, 4, 6, 10, 16, 20, 25. So depending upon your load you can choose the MCP. So this 1P, 2P, 3P, 4P represents the number of poles on the circuit breaker. There is also one more term called MCCB which means that it is a molded case uh, circuit breaker. So this has the function same as the MCB except a small difference will be there. So here MCBs are normally used for low power application and they are um, available in the range of uh, 1 amps to 125 amps. Whereas this MCCB is used for high power application where the current will be very high. So normally this uh, is used in industries with very large electrical nodes. So we have seen about MCB but is MCB sufficient to prevent accident? No. Actually this is not sufficient. So to protect us or the person from uh, shock we need other devices like uh, residual current devices and residual current breakers. Next we will see about the residual current circuit breaker which is called RCCB. So you can see this is a double pole RCCB and this is four pole one. You can see here only one switch is here and here one switch is there. Why it is called a residual current circuit breaker? We know Kirchhoff's current law. The sum of the currents entering a node should be zero or uh, sum of the incoming current should be equal to the sum of the outgoing current or incoming current should be equal to the outgoing current in any closed loop. So here the RCCB what it will do means it will continuously sense the incoming current and the outgoing current. It will compare the difference between the live wire and neutral wire current. So if there is any difference which is called the residual current it will trip. So this is called residual current circuit breaker. Actually this is comparing the current between the live wire and the neutral wire so that uh, it will check whether any residual current is there. Because if only when there is any fault there will be difference between the live wire and the neutral wire. 
So here we can see that uh, a 30 milliamps is specified here. This is the residual current which the breaker can withstand or residual current at which the breaker will trip. So this chart shows how much milliamps the human body can withstand. So when you are subjected to some 2 milliamps, you will get only mild shock but when it is 30 milliamps you may get suffocation so depending upon this they have designed that um, this residual current will be 30 milliamps so there are some devices or ccb which can withstand um, 100 milliamps also so but uh, what is that important here is that you are tripping time will be different for that if 30 milliamps is subjected for some time you are, if you are uh, subjecting to 100 milliamps your tripping time should be very fast because otherwise your heart will stop breathing so tripping time also plays a major role when you increase the current your tripping time should be very fast So, RCCB is mainly used to protect us from the electrical shock as well as from the earth fault. So, this RCCB are usually designed to detect the residual current. But uh, if there is any overload uh, current, it is necessary to use a MCB to trip under overload condition. Normally, and MCB and the RCCB will be connected in series. Next we have another option residual current breaker with overload function. So here you can see this type of diagram will be there. So this RCBO has a function of both MCB and RCCB. So it operates on residual current as well as overload current. Next we have the isolator or disconnector. So this is basically an isolator. It is a switch. That is manually you have to operate the switch. If you want to do any uh, repair work, you can switch off the whole circuit and do the electrical work. It does not provide any protection and it is operated manually only. Uh, the remaining parts so in this video we have seen about the mcb rccb and isolator but still there are many parts which will be discussed in the next video so the points to remember here are each country has its own regulations so if you take a mcb it helps to protect um, electrical installation against overload and short circuit MCBs are easy to install, operate and maintain and uh, RCCB if you see they protect us from the electrical shock and from earth fault. If you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel. Thank you.